Hello Virgo! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, using the Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. For support of Oracle cards, Wisdom of the House of Night. And on the back here above the um, barcode is who created them. You can also find them on Amazon, I believe, easily. Alright, let's go ahead. whole gate feel over here. Oh, this is good. Okay. <laughs> I haven't said what's down here yet. I know. Um, all right. This is going somewhere really good. There's a very interesting ending coming in. But the Ace of Cups is here, so it's on your side. Now, when, I'm, when we're starting this situation, we are heading towards that Ace of Cups. There's some things going along with it here, but I literally feel like... I literally feel like your cat's knocking things over. <laughs> My cat's very mischievous today, sorry. Um, whatever you're walking away from, well, you're not even really walking away from. This is something that you thought was outside of your grasp. And I feel like for those of you this is going to hit for, literally, it's something you walked away for thinking you couldn't have it and you're trying to put it out of your mind. Um, you got the moon card with the forbidden. You don't see the odd, you don't see how you can move towards this. You don't see how you can have this. So you're kind of like I'm just going to try to let it go. Literally, in this situation, what, how you're handling something, whatever it is, you're trying to let it go because you're thinking, I don't, see, I don't see how I can get close to it. I don't think it's allowed for me to have this. I don't see the possibility. For some of you, it's kind of like... For some of you, you there's somebody you're falling for or fell for, and they're unavailable for whatever reason. And you're like, I'm not seeing how I can get close to that person, or I'm not believing it's right. I shouldn't be. Um, so I'm letting it go, and I'm moving on. Now, the energy, whatever you're dealing with, that you're thinking, I can't get that. It's not right for me to have it. I'm going to stop putting my energy towards it. I'm going to let it go. Movement here with the Nine of Swords. Whatever it is you're interested in, there's some type of connection to this. Now, if it's a person, the interest is, is reciprocal. If it's a situation, almost like there's a business opportunity... I'm getting like things are moving forward kind of like a river, but it's like a windy river that's going to come back around towards you. You may not see it. It may not be planned to come back towards you, but it will come back towards you is what I'm getting. Especially, I'm saying that because I'm seeing the end, I have to be honest. I'm seeing it and I'm like, it's a very weird feeling uh, because it's like you moved on from something completely, completely convinced. I can't have this. It's not for me. I'm not allowed. It's not right. Whatever it was, you're like, no. I'm letting it go. Okay. There's a very, um, I want to say there's a little bit of an aggravated energy with it. It's not like you wanted to let it go. You felt like you needed to. So you did. You did it because you felt like it was the right thing to do. So that's why you did it. Okay. There's nothing seems bad with that. Circumstances change. Life, whatever it was, literally the opportunity comes back around again. Listening with success is telling me at first, this is how it first comes around. You're realizing one of two things. Circumstances have changed or information you weren't aware of before is now in front of you. Success and listening is on your side. Listening is kind of like you're hearing there's opportunity here. Something you walked away from because you're like, it's forbidden, I can't have it. You're getting information you know what, maybe that's not true. Maybe there is something here. Now, true to Virgo, from what I understand of Virgo, this really matches, because it's kind of like you're hearing it, you're absorbing it, and then you got to think about it for a while. You're just like, hmm. Like, almost like the information first comes forward and you like it, but you're like, do I believe it? <laughs> is this really my opportunity? 
what you're 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 heading towards this ace of wands it's kind of like all right this this is something you really want this is something you very very much want opportunities coming forward and you're feeling it and you're like i want it to be mine circumstances are different now or you've learned something you didn't know before and you're like you know what maybe i should try maybe it's not forbidden because forbidden when it showed up in the past it was how you believed about it your belief in it like it was forbidden for me to have it and you're like you know what maybe it's not maybe it's not maybe it's really not so the ending is good but I'm going to be fair. I don't want to like, I don't want to dance around this. I just want to go right for it. This is where this is heading. Now, if you know the tarot a little bit, you probably realize these are very contradicting cards. Ten of Swords is devastation. Ace of Cups is completely loving life and having everything you want. Um, it's not the Tower card, because I feel like some of you might look at this as if it was. It's not the Tower card because it's not a shock. I feel like what this is saying is there's going to be some, <laughs> there's going to be paying your dues, something along those lines, like some great devastation that's going to lead to this great love, great wonder, great joy that you want. So it's kind of like accepting what's not good to get what you actually do want. Um, I don't want to say it's bittersweet. I feel like it's kind of like going through the Ten of Swords to get your Ace of Cups, accepting what's here, addressing what's here, doing what needs to be done. There's like this negative positive feel here. This opportunity, you're going towards it. There's just a couple things here where it's almost like other people, you're like, almost like you're worried about something other people are gonna say, how other people are gonna feel. If you look at that Ten of Swords, you'll notice there's a couple vultures there. It's almost like somebody else judging you. And that might be where that, that devastation comes from. But to get what you want here, to get this thing that you didn't think was really for you, it was forbidden, you're going to have to maybe cross some lines and realize those are other people's rules. Those aren't your rules. To get what you really want, I feel like it might be addressing like other people have parameters for you and other people don't believe you're allowed past these certain parameters, these certain boundaries. But the way you're looking at it is like, those are not my boundaries. Those are somebody else's. And you're contained by your own personal boundaries. You can't live with somebody else's boundaries. And I feel like that might be like the catch-22 here. By going for this, you're stepping outside of somebody else's boundaries for you, but you're going where you need to go. I don't know if this makes sense. I hope I'm not making that really dicey. Basically, somebody else is trying to restrict you from what you want, and you're not, you're not buying it. You're like, I'm going to get what I want. And you're realizing somebody's going to give you a hard time about it. And you're going for it anyway. There, we simplified it. <sighs> Whatever you're going for, whether it's a person or situation, lo loyalty's in question here with hope, but hope is right with it. Loyalty's in question, it's almost like crossing that forbidden boundary. You know what I mean? Crossing these lines that other people have set for you. Loyalty is in question. Hope is here to get what you want. I'm also getting your, you will get some support. Even if this is not about another person, if it's just situational, you got the uh, the King of Wands coming in, which doesn't have to be, they don't get caught up in the gender, like I always say, but someone's going to help you stabilize and make this happen. You've got three of the four aces out here. The only ace you don't have out here is swords. which apparently you can do well without that one. <laughs> but you have three of the four aces out here. This is going to happen. Someone's going to help you stabilize this, though. Someone's going to help you. When I feel this ace of pentacles, someone's helping you make a plan. Someone's helping you not only get this, but keep this. That's why the ace is showing up with this uh, king of wands energy. Someone's fighting for you and helping you stabilize and keep what you want. They're helping you keep it. That's a big piece of this. So I feel like it's what you thought wasn't yours is for you, and you will have it, and this person is going to make sure you keep it. Someone is assisting you to make sure you keep what you want, which is a great thing. This is a great... It's weird. I'm almost, I almost want to say ally, but I feel like there's something else with that. So it's going to depend on what you're coming across there. So you're getting what you want. 
it's, I mean, through life, naturally through life, there's a little heartache that comes with it, but you're ending up with the Ace of Cups. You also got the Ace of Pentacles stabilizing it. Yeah, some you got support with it, so you're not all on your own with it. I mean, for what it is, like this is something you really want. I think it's a good ending. <laughs> In the comments below, you'll have to let me know. All right, I'm gonna leave that there. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading for me, shoot me an email, James for Astral at gmail.com. That's James the number four Astral at gmail.com. Thank you.